as it's half hour back again, this is going to be an update of my 12 Doctors of Christmas Project Pan, which is a collab with a whole bunch of other people who will be linked down below. This is the second update. Um, I haven't finished anything or used anything up again, because as I said when I started this, it wasn't really the point. As I said when I started this, the main point of this was just to explore my collection and try different things out. Um, I am going to add extras in again like I did last time, so I'm actually now going to have like 16, but that's fine because it gives me more opportunity to explore. So I'll just go through what I already have in the project and show you where I'm up to with all of them. So the first one is Moisturize Me, which I picked the Astralis Makeup Finishing Mist. Um, that is where we were. Focus. Like right up the top here. So as you can see, there's been a fair, fair amount of progress on this one. For some reason, this one doesn't have um, as good a sprayer as the last one I had. So when I finish my NYX matte one, I might um, decant it into that because that one has a much better sprayer on it. Uh, the next one was. For Donna Noble, and I had the Girly Cosmetics Firecracker Red Lipstick, which is more orange than red. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but not enough to actually make any visible type of progress on this one. I'll probably start using it a bit more because it goes better with my hair now. <laughs> the next one was Unit, and I had this MAC Trio in it. I um, don't really know the names of these colours. It's a bit dirty because I have been using it quite a bit. Um, so I've been concentrating my brush in the brown, the matte black, uh, brown in there. Um, kind of more in the middle in this one. And as you can see, this one has a couple of like really big denty things in it. Um, this bit over, whoops, over here is where it broke. This is where I've been concentrating my brush, and that is a really, I don't know if it's going to show. It's actually a really deep dent in the pan there. I don't think it's that far away from hitting teeny tiny little pan, um, which is funny because that wasn't the colour I was really drawn to at first because it's very warm, but now that my hair's warmer, um, I can get away with it a little bit more. Then we had Sonic, and for that we had the Rimmel Eyeshadow Stick in Tempting Turquoise. I have used this a couple of times. Um, I did, somebody mentioned in, I think it was in the last video in the comments, they suggested mixing something like using a cool base and then putting the warm matte coppery colour over the top of it. And I actually did that a couple of times using this. Um, this probably... This is not a wind-up one. This is a sharpening one. I, th I haven't actually had to sharpen it yet, so... But I had a bit of fun playing around with it. I haven't used it probably in a fortnight. But there you go. Uh, then we have Celery. And for that I had the Cargo Green Bay Eyeshadow. I have used this lots and lots of times. It doesn't have a huge amount of um, pigment to it. Like, it looks like it does when you swatch it, but it's really, like, as soon as you go to put it on, it's super duper sheer. Um, so you really have to, like, build it up to make it show on the eyes properly. It might work better if I put it, like, over a, a white base or something. But, yeah, it's it's not the best. I don't, in my personal opinion, not the best. Um, then we had Gallifrey. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose, which obviously I don't use as a highlighter, even though that's sort of what it's supposed to do. Um, this is more of a blush shade on me, or I use it like a blush topper, like I used a little bit today, um, just to just give a bit more warmth, glimmer to the skin. We have the So Susan for Susan. We have the So Susan Lip Dome in Black Current. Um, this won't look any different. I have used it a few times. I was expecting it to be super duper creamy like most um, 
lip crayons are, this is not. It is actually quite stiff to actually use. It's a really nice colour though, it's just not how I expected it to be. Then we have for Sarah Jane, we have the L'Oreal Clear Lip Liner. I have used this a couple of times, but I, and yeah, I sharpened it. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit shorter than it was, but not, not visibly shorter, really. Then for my favourite doctor, which is number nine, I have the NYX Purple Mascara. I have used this lots of times. I have not been able to find a white eyelash primer. I do have an eyelash primer now, but it turns out it's clear. So that doesn't help me. Because um, this just looks like I've darkened my lashes slightly. It doesn't look, even though it looks purple, it doesn't look purple on my lashes. So that's that. Uh, for the Oud, I have the Rimmel in the Nude Eyeliner, um, which currently has a bit of black on it. Um, I don't know how much is in there, I'm not going to roll it all the way up, but I have used it a few times. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. For Ice Warriors, we have the NYX Diamond Lust Eyeshadow like, oops, looks like that, it's just a white shimmery eyeshadow, I use it very lightly to highlight the brow bone, concentrating my brush where it's busted up, down there, so, and then for Time Lord, we had the Oil of Aloe Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream, and you're not going to be able to see it very well, but there's actually not very much left in there. Probably, like, another week, maybe. Maybe two weeks. And that will all be gone. Last time I added in the L'Oreal for K9, the L'Oreal Infallible in Flashback Silver, which is one of the pressed pigments. I've actually used this quite a bit. Um, on my eyelid, it's it's super pretty, um, but it's a bit like the cargo. It doesn't necessarily show up. It shows up on the finger. Doesn't necessarily show up on the skin quite so well. Um, but it still gives it like a really nice sheen. It's kind of got this pink reflect to it, which is really nice. Then we have for Hello Sexy. I went with the Monomolo Sexy Red Long Lasting Lipstick. I actually haven't touched this in the last month. I just have not been drawn to actually using it. So um, I think if I, if by the end of this project I haven't wanted to use it or have used it and not really liked it, it will definitely get decluttered. So this time round I'm adding in two more. The first one I picked was Impossible Girl, which is number 49, which is a reference to Clara. She was the Impossible Girl for the um, 11th Doctor. Um, for the 12th Doctor, she was something completely different. And it was actually 12th Doctor inspired that um, made me pick this particular item. So I actually picked this clean colour lipstick, which is a matte lipstick, and it is in Raven. And diehard Doctor Who fans will understand that reference. It's actually a black lipstick. It's not particularly full on. It's um, it's like it's pretty sheer, really. And it doesn't really feel like a matte. But I'm sure it probably is. So that is what I am picking for Impossible Girl. And the second one I picked was number 35, which is Amy, as in Amy Pond. And for that, I picked this lip crayon from Lacquer and Co. This is in The Boss Lady because she seems to always be in charge of the boys, or her boys, as she refers to it. Um, this is a very sheer nude kind of colour. 
not a color I would have picked for myself. This came in a, a lip monthly or a bulb box or something at some point. So that is my update for this month of the 12 Doctors of Christmas. Again, everybody else who's involved will be linked down below, as well as a link to the Google Doc that has the different categories. If you want to jump in, even at this late stage, we're running this until Christmas Day, which is when the special episode of Doctor Who comes out, um, which will also be when they introduce the new Doctor. So, um, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan and nerdy type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.